which one would I'll walk you through making a beat. Let's see here. We'll take this guy here into here. All right, so let's snatch that snare. I literally found this one yesterday. I mean, I, yeah. So let's sample that real quick. Last little bit. Living in Hollywood kind of has like its drawbacks and benefits, but I think that's any neighborhood in LA. This has turned into like a tranny brothel. You'll see a dude in little short shorts like hopping over the wall with like a pink wig. I, w I wouldn't say I, I like grew up in a particularly rough environment. I think anywhere is a rough area if you look for like, you know, rough characters, I suppose. Michigan, like Pontiac, it was always desolate. Like we'd go skate and go to Detroit, like, no fucking problem. I don't know, it just felt like there's like a big void there. There's like a city that used to be there. Things that look good on film, if you, if you skate there, have footage from there. When you get there, it's like terrible. I get to skate it out here, which is pretty fucking cool. And this is probably at like 90, 96. I figured out with a cassette deck you could, you know, pause if you have two of them. You can record something off the radio and then basically loop it. And there's this guy and I'm playing this like loop tape um, at school, like walking around with like a tape recorder. He brought me a cassette and he's like, hey, it's not instrumentals, but I think you're really going to like this tape. The tape was uh, Fantastic Volume 1. It's like a slum village that was all produced by JD. And yeah, that tape totally blew me away. That was basically it. Once that happened, I was pretty much hooked.